Hi, my name is Nishant Patel, and I'm a board-certified cardiac surgeon at Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center. I have been on staff here for three years, following 17 years of education and training at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, Maryland. I would like to talk to you today about minimally invasive heart surgery. One of the more common questions I receive from patients is, do you have to cut my chest bone to do my heart surgery? What other options are available? I think all patients would agree that the least invasive approach would be the best or the most desirable approach. And I would add that I think most surgeons would also agree that the least invasive approach is the most desirable approach for heart surgery. But regardless of the operation, a valve repair or replacement, surgery for atrial fibrillation, the most important thing that cannot be sacrificed is the safety of the patient. So, when I see patients in consultation for open heart surgery, I am always looking to perform the least invasive procedure for the patient, but without sacrificing safety and quality of outcome. There are a few different options that we offer for heart surgery at Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center. Of course, there is the very traditional approach called the sternotomy, but we also offer minimally invasive approaches where the same heart operation can be performed by going between the ribs instead of dividing the chest bone. Traditionally, Open heart surgery is performed through a sternotomy approach. This is what is performed for the vast majority of open heart procedures across the United States, across the world, and in our very own Palm Beach County. This is performed by making a vertical incision on the chest, then dividing the chest bone, called the sternum. In general, this is a six to eight inch incision it is safe and provides excellent exposure for all open heart operations. At Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center, this is the approach, my go-to approach, for complex open heart surgery, redo open heart surgery, coronary artery bypass surgery, and surgery for complex aortic disease. Palm Beach Gardens Medical Center offer minimally invasive approaches to open heart surgery. These surgeries are performed by making an incision on the side of the chest between the ribs without having to divide the chest bone. When the incision is made to the far side, this is referred to as a mini thoracotomy. Through this approach, we are able to perform mitral valve repair mitral valve replacement, tricuspid valve repair or replacement, Cox maze procedures for atrial fibrillation, and closure of various holes in the heart known as atrial septal defects or patent foramen ovale. If, on the other hand, the incision is made more to the middle and higher up on the chest, this is referred to as a mini anterior thoracotomy. This is the incision we use to perform minimally invasive aortic valve replacement. Patients often ask me if they can get a minimally invasive open heart procedure. And if so, what are the potential benefits of an approach that avoids splitting the chest bone? It is important to recognize that some patients are not candidates for minimally invasive approaches and so we perform a very thorough evaluation to determine the best approach for each individual patient. But once the patient is determined to be a good candidate for a minimally invasive approach to heart surgery, the benefits are quite apparent. Cosmetically, the incision is quite a bit smaller than the traditional sternotomy approach, and therefore it leaves a much smaller scar. Most patients also show less pain, shorter stay in the hospital, less bleeding and less transfusions, 
and lower risk of infection, shorter recovery time, and very importantly, faster return to work and faster return to full activity. So, if you have been given a diagnosis of valve disease or require other open heart procedures and are interested in the benefits of minimally invasive surgery, please visit pbgmc.com forward slash cardiac for more information. Thank you.